So some great news, uh, parish family of Holy Cross. Uh, we know that Palm Sunday is one of the most memorable celebrations uh, of the church year. And even though there's more important celebrations such as the Easter Vigil, uh, Midnight Mass, uh, things like that, uh, we all remember, especially uh, as children, uh, you know, receiving those palms, having them blessed and processing uh, into the church or around the church. And it's an important way to open up uh, our Holy Week celebrations. And though we can't gather together for these celebrations, we're trying to find ways in which our parish family can participate um, with the church's celebrations. As Christ set out um, towards Jerusalem and uh, people greeted him at the gates and they laid their uh, coats and their palm branches and their olive branches down in order to show his royal entrance into Jerusalem is the king. So our processions within the church, anytime that the church holds a procession, it reminds us of always moving forward along the path of the Christian life and our uh, forward movement always towards eternal life. So here's the good news. On Saturday, I'm going to bless the palms in the morning, um, and then we're going to have a contactless uh, distribution of palms drive through at the church so that families can pick up palms uh, and individuals can pick up palms as well. We're going to start at 9 a.m. on Saturday and we're going to end by 5 p.m. Uh, I am so very grateful to the Knights of Columbus who will be uh, working in shifts in order to help with the traffic flow within the church parking lot and then also uh, to help distribute palms. Uh, we're going to have also little booklets uh, that I'm going to start printing today in English and in Spanish so that the heads of households can lead their families in private processions and use some of those prayers of the church that normally the priest would pray in order to lead the community in a procession. And so uh, thank you to those who uh, continue to support uh, financially the operations of the parish um, and uh, in this time and to all those people who are coming um, throughout the day to pray and to lift up all of our intentions uh, before the Blessed Sacrament. We're going to continue uh, on Friday to have our adoration from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. On Good Friday, we will not have adoration, and then we're working towards uh, some extended times for adoration in the weeks to come as we continue to not be able to gather together in a large community. Now let's take a look at the map that we're going to be following uh, that will help you understand how the distribution is going to take place. You can see here a map of the campus. Uh, we're going to use the two entrances. Uh, we'll use an entrance uh, by the Legal Immigration Services and also the entrance, the main entrance, by the Brisson House. As you come onto campus, you'll see the blue lines uh, on the map here are the ways you can enter and proceed past the entrance of the church and then take a right down towards the side entrance where the uh, entrance is with the keypad. There'll be three stations set up. Here you can see palms. And if you go all the way over uh, and look at the right hand side of your screen, you can see that we can have three cars. If it gets busy, we can have three cars uh, receiving palms uh, at the same time. If there does happen to be a wait and it seems like uh, traffic is backing up, we'll have uh, one or two Knights of Columbus who will be able to, uh, if you just pull in and park next to each other, remember to keep your windows up. Uh, I know it's, uh, you know, people want to roll down their windows and chat because we haven't seen each other for a while, but just to uh, mitigate this spread, uh, we want to be sure that we're not, uh, that we're not um, uh, talking through windows and things like that. Uh, and so you can park in these areas here. Um, and uh, uh, in this whole section uh, that you can see uh, that I've just highlighted. Uh, we'll also use the area here if we need to, but just look for those Knights of Columbus who will be using uh, uh, their walkie-talkies in order to uh, send uh, cars as, uh, uh, as we're able. Um, as you pick up your palms, you'll come around uh, the back of that side parking lot, and you have two options to exit. You can go back the way that you came in, then you can take a right or a left. Remember, if you're going to take a right out of the parking lot at the main entrance here, you want to go around by the office in order to, uh, uh, to keep from that congestion onto Cherry Street. If you want to go out uh, by the uh, shopping center, you can go out that gravel road uh, past the old uh, picnic area and pavilion area and out, to, um, uh, and out towards uh, um, Southern Street that's there, and you can go out by Southern Street or you can go out uh, by the Lowe's Shopping Center and hit that roundabout, uh, which will take you to the light. Um, and so that's the, uh, that's the way that we'll be uh, doing palms. We'll be distributing palms again uh, to remind you from 9 a.m. 
until 5 p.m. And I thank very much the Knights of Columbus and some of the other volunteers who will be uh, helping with this. Uh, there will be, um, in those uh, three areas where you can pick up palms, there'll be tables. That way they're not handing directly anything to you. They'll be using gloves uh, to get those palms to you, set them on the table, and then you can just reach out uh, and take those. They'll also be handing out the little booklets uh, by which you can take home and lead your families uh, and your households uh, in a Palm Sunday procession. Good, so I hope that's clear and, uh, um, and precise in being able to uh, help with the traffic flow. Uh, just look for volunteers who will be helping to direct traffic uh, as you come on to the parish uh, campus. One last thing, you know, of course, people um, have seen in the Catholic News Herald and, um, and the different things um, uh, in the different publications online, the different ways that people are trying to respond, priests are trying to respond at this time in which we want to bring people together. Uh, and so there's been drive-through Holy Communion after, you know, masses that are celebrated from windows. There's been uh, people who have had outdoor masses where people drive up and roll down their windows and they can hear uh, the, uh, the priest, um, you know, in a field offering mass. Um, but uh, what's not reported is people are emailing and calling and saying, Father, can we try this? Can we try that? Is that those uh, priests, such as St. Anne, um, St. John the Baptist, places like that, have actually been instructed they can't do that anymore. So it was kind of a creative way to try and respond to that. But again, drawing all those people together at one time, rather than kind of coming through over the course of time, um, is still considered uh, a mass gathering, even in an outdoor area. And so we continue to kind of take those hits and kind of say, wow, you know, it's it's, it's really a, uh, a sorrowful situation that we're in, and it is. But this is certainly the time in which when uh, the church, uh, as I saw somebody post online, they said the church is not empty, the church is deployed. Right, the church is in our homes, and so on Palm Sunday, rather than people driving by the church and hearing uh, the praises of God being sung, you know, we should crack our windows open and we should sing from our homes so they know that the church is not dead, but it's alive within our families. God bless you. Hopefully, we'll see you on Saturday as you pick up your palms.